Welcome to the ITU studio in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where we're here for the Radio Communication Assembly and the World Radio Communication Conference following that. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Kath Westcott, who is the Senior Distribution Manager for the BBC World Service Group. Kath, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, this, this conference and the, and the one uh, just straight afterwards. Why is BBC World Service attending this conference? What, what, uh, what makes it important in your calendar? Well, uh, BBC is a long-standing sector member of the, of the ready communications sector of the ITU. Um, we're both a national and an international broadcaster. Uh, I work in the international part of the BBC. So for us, it's a really important uh, place. The ITU is a very important organisation. Um, we work internationally. So as well as uh, being at the at the right place where important decisions are made that will influence how we can distribute our program around the world. It's also uh, uh, an important place for us to, to, to meet people, to meet people from different countries, different regions. And specifically, the Radio Communications Assembly, it's important, I think, because it frames the way that the um, radio communications sector works and uh, it means that it can operate effectively for all the membership. So that's member states, but also, crucially, sector members like us as BBC. And in terms of the conversations that are going to be had here, the, the decisions that are going to be made, what are the, the most uh, important to you? What, what, what are the most vital, do you think, that will affect broadcasting? Well, aside from the workings of the ITU, which I think is important for all member states, all sector members, um, we have, there are two uh, proposed new resolutions, one of which has just been approved, uh, one which is uh, at plenary, and those are important to us. Uh, they came proposed by study group six, which is the, the study group for the broadcasting service. So they were agreed by all of the broadcasters that attend. Uh, and uh, there, uh, there are two. One is about the role of the ITU in the ongoing development of broadcasting, so that's sound, television and multimedia. And the second is um, the, 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 the ongoing development, in fact. The, it's about future broadcasting. It's about uh, the ITU, the work in study group six, actually meeting the requirements of all broadcasters and, and recognising the changes that are happening in broadcasting. And uh, the work that's being done in, in these, these study groups, uh, what relevance does it have in terms of its, the reports, uh, the, the, the studies and the resolutions? So in the study groups, the work in the study groups, uh, I'd say it's crucial for, for organisations like the BBC. You have the recommendations um, and you have the, and the reports, so that's really important information both for us as a broadcaster um, some of the work that happens in the ITU is very important externally. Um, there are very important relationships between us, the standardisation that's worked on in the ITU and other external standards bodies and that collaboration and, and liaison is really important. And uh, also I think for us it's the exchange of information. Um, I've spent a lot of time, or BBC spent a lot of time certainly at WRCs and also in the study, in the study groups talking to other broadcasters who work in very different environments than we do, but we have a lot that we can share and support each other, and I think that's good for, good for us as broadcasters, it's good for the citizens, it's good for the administrations. One of the things I wanted to ask you as well is uh, there, there's a, a, a group here encouraging uh, women to get involved in uh, radio communications, in, in technology, and that's certainly a subject very much, very close to the heart of uh, at ITU. Uh, I just really wanted to find out uh, what was, what's a little bit about your background, what, what uh, encouraged you and what uh, enthused you in, into uh, getting involved and, uh, and, and following this career path. Well, this is a subject close to my heart, uh, not just within the ITU, and I've been involved in the initiatives, which I think are very important, uh, but also in the BBC. I'm a member of a network within the BBC of women that work in STEM areas. Um, personally, in fact, I didn't start off um, in, in engineering. I actually did an English degree at university, uh, but I joined the BBC and was trained to become a radio engineer. Um, and through my work as a shortwave radio planner, I became involved in the WRC um, a long time ago. And um, so my, my route has been slightly unusual, but um, I found the work incredibly interesting. Um, 
I've done the job for a long time, it's changed, I'm still learning. And um, I found now that my experience of having done the work that I've done for the time that I've done it, as a woman, uh, I have lots of observations and experiences to share with other women and with other men. And uh, so that, that excites me, in fact. And those initi the ITU initiatives are, I think, really important and really welcome. Finally, with regards to the outcomes in this conference, what do you hope will be the, the outcomes at the end of the, this very sort of long haul that, uh, that, that most of us are, are going to be involved with? So you're talking about WRC as well as the Radio Assembly? Indeed. The outcomes, uh, well, for the BBC, our, our interest actually, ironically, perhaps is in the agenda for the next conference in 2023. Um, uh, so for us, the outcome would be um, an agenda which, uh, which we feel we can do effective studies on for the four years, um, that's clear, uh, that's sensible um, and worth looking at so that we can actually do useful work in the four years and come to a good resolution that suits everyone in 2023. Um, otherwise, I mean, there are a number of other issues that we're looking at, but um, yeah, it, it is a long haul. Um, I feel I'm fortunate not to be here for the whole time, but I know many of my colleagues in many different countries are, will be here and I wish them I wish, them, I wish them good luck and, and uh, energy. Well, thank you very much for, for joining us in the studio and, uh, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the near future. Kath Westcott, thanks very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.